Very quickly, who is SiriusLink? SiriusLink was founded in 2012 for the explicit reason to provide MQTT-centric software for industrial automation. As I mentioned, uh, I was the co-inventor of MQTT with Andy about 25 years ago. This is the 25th anniversary of MQTT. And it was kind of frustrating that we invented MQTT for OT, and then IT kind of came in and hijacked it, and we were very interested in getting it back into the arena that it was originally invented for. Now, when we started SiriusLink, we knew that we weren't going to be able to create an entire industrial application platform. So very fortunate for SiriusLink, we became the only strategic partner with inductive automation. So really what we do on a day-to-day -day basis is we develop modules that run on the uh, Ignition platform. Our first module that we developed in 2015 that we demonstrated at ICC was MQTT Engine. And subsequently, we've developed an entire line of modules that run on the Ignition platform. Now, we do have some standalone products as well. One is the SparkPlug Aware Chariot MQTT Broker. And the other we're going to talk about today is the IoT Bridge for Snowflake. We work with the Polaris team at Snowflake and we're able to create a really optimized way to get data from Ignition through MQTT SparkPlug into the Snowflake Data Cloud platform. So uh, Travis went through all the great things you can do with Ignition. It, it's a great HMI, you can do reports, it, it alarms, dashboarding all over the place. But the way that we looked at it is that we needed a tool for enterprise data connectivity. On the left side, as Travis went through before, is we've got all of that connectivity to the machines in the factory. We're able to get all those raw register values. And we all know it, we have all been working with register, PLC registers for the last 45 years. So I've got Modbus register 40,011, and it's got a value of 17. Is that 17 gallons? Is it 17 degrees? So a human being has to sit down, and for every one of those registers, and a lot of times that's thousands and thousands of registers, we've got to sit down and edit it to give it context, to give it engineering high, engineering low, give it a name. You know, where was it connected in all my whole infrastructure? Now, Ignition has a tool that lets us to do that. So with Ignition and the UDT editor, we can create a data model. And then we can instantiate that creating a digital twin. Now, I know that everybody out there just cringed when I said digital twin, because all the context that we have out there with what really is a digital twin. But what you're going to see uniquely when I do this demo today is we're going to create digital twins the way that we want to use the digital twins in our enterprise. We're not going to take a digital twin that AWS invented, you know, five years ago that only gives us four pieces of information or, you know, or Azure or Google Cloud Platform or somebody else. Because, you know, the minute we try to create a digital twin across for everybody, then nobody's going to use it. We've got to be able to create digital twins the way that our business uses those. And of course, we need to keep track of all the real-time data changes. Now, as Travis and Poop both mentioned, we are going to leverage MQTT for all the reasons, security uh, report by exception. And then on top of that, we're going to utilize SparkPlug. And very quickly, SparkPlug is a specification that simply says, if you're going to use MQTT in an industrial application, this is probably a good way to use MQTT. So very quickly, it does four important things. With a OT-centric topic namespace, it gives us plug and play out of discovery. So what you're going to see is I'm going to start with a Snowflake cloud platform that knows nothing about a smart factory. And by using the plug and play auto discovery, Snowflake is going to learn about that factory in a matter of seconds. The second thing that SparkPlug lets us do is most importantly, it lets us publish a model and an asset definition from the edge, establishing that single source of truth. So 
Now I've got a single source of truth at the edge that's going up to the enterprise. If anything changes, we're going to republish that data so that we always know that what the enterprise view of the system is, is always accurate. The third thing that Sparkplug does, it, it provides us a process variable object. So here we've got the unified namespace coming down to the model, coming down to the process variable, so that in Snowflake, when I go look at that process variable, I immediately know where it came from, I know what machine it's attached to, and now I can tell you the name, the value, the timestamp in milliseconds, data type, engineering high, engineering low, dead band, dead band percentages, scaling mode, and any other property you want to decorate that measurement with when it shows up in Snowflake. And then lastly, Sparkplug defines proper MQTT state management. With that, that means we can do report by exception, but that also means that if we should lose the network at the factory or at the facility, we can take that process variable with its timestamp and put it into a store and forward queue. And when our network comes back up, we can backfill that information into the Snowflake Data Cloud platform. So our network can be going up and down at all our facilities, but ultimately we're gonna be able to backfill that data into Snowflake and not having any holes in our time series data. So really the way that we look at it is Ignition is a platform that gives us the connectivity we need at the factory, at the remote facility, at the oil well, to bring that raw data in, take that raw data, and start creating models, being able to instantiate those creating our assets or our digital twin, if you will, and that has all of our contextual data. Now, once that's in place in Ignition, the MQTT transmission module can look inside of Ignition, take that model and convert it to Sparkplug and publish it to any available in 3.1.1 compliant MQTT server in our infrastructure. 